Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Ten years ago, Sandra Lee had it all. A woman raised in poverty who'd become a massively successful entrepreneur, starring in her Emmy-winning TV show, Semi-Homemade Cooking. The upbeat queen of pantry hacks, 58, was also the longtime partner of handsome and dynamic politician Andrew Cuomo, the governor of New York. And then her life, a seemingly perfect mix of elegance and suburban sensibility akin to her iconic tables capes, derailed rapidly. First came the breast cancer diagnosis in March 2015, resulting in a double mastectomy and full hysterectomy. Lee's ongoing cancer treatment left her unable to continue her hit TV series, and it ended later that year after 15 seasons. Still, the worst was yet to come. In 2019, her relationship with Cuomo, 66, imploded, landing the fiercely private Lee in the middle of a prolonged and very public scandal. As photographers documented every step of the end of that relationship, Lee fled New York for LA, and withdrew from public life. When I got sick, I was so stressed out and overwhelmed that when the Food Network canceled me, I didn't have the energy to fight them, Lee tells our channel of the fate of semi-homemade. The woman who sits down with us in the living room of her Malibu home is a far cry from the Sandra Lee of old. Gone is the perky 50s throwback kitsch that defines semi-homemade. In its place is someone who's gone through hell and come out happier, determined and more authentic. Now she's finally strong enough to talk about what happened. I've resigned myself to the fact that I will never get over the heartbreak of loss of the last 10 years, she says wistfully. The grief has been endless but I will use it to fuel and feed me and make me wiser and stronger. Lee pauses to sip her, made from scratch, iced tea, her makeup-free face radiant in the natural light. She stares out of her window, tears in her eyes, as she takes in the view, the Pacific Ocean sparkling calmly as a pod of dolphins makes its way up the coast. I would say, she continues, finally, that I've had the most challenging decade of my life. To call her assessment an understatement is putting it mildly. But the Sandra Lee of today is ready to get back to the business of living. She has two new TV series, Dinner Budget Showdown on Roku and Blue Ribbon Baking Championship premiering August 9th on Netflix. She also just celebrated her third anniversary with Ben Youssef, a handsome younger man who swept in and taught Lee to love and to trust all over again. It wasn't easy. Cuomo, who appeared as a devoted and supportive partner in Lee's documentary about her cancer treatment, could apparently be a different person behind the scenes. Increasingly distant, he spent more and more time apart from Lee. A spokesperson for Cuomo tells us, Governor Cuomo has always been totally supportive of Sandra through good times and bad. She partnered with him, spent time with, his, girls, and handled functions as first lady very well. Sandra and the governor had separate and busy lives and grew apart over time. Breakups are always difficult and there are always two sides of the story, but the governor chooses to focus on the positive and he wishes her nothing but success and happiness in the years ahead. Lee's self-described lowest point came during the day of her birthday in 2015 following her double mastectomy. Cancer is aggressive and tricky, and it hides and waits, Lee says of her battle with the disease which she was diagnosed with that same year. I had to spend a year dealing with that, as aggressively as I could. In cancer treatment, any birthday is significant, a marker of personal success against the disease. I spent the day by myself. I was sitting on my lawn alone, Lee says. Cuomo denies this and says he cleared his schedule to be there. My birthday was a precious day to me, especially that one. I'm not someone who feels sorry for themselves but that day was a bit much for me. Lee adds he eventually came home and they went out for dinner, but the damage was done. Their relationship continued to deteriorate. In spring 2019, Cuomo made a remark, and it was the straw that broke the camel's back. I was in my kitchen, she recalls, and he said something, and the minute he said it, I knew what he just said. And every window and door closed. And that was it. Lee's commitment to integrity makes it impossible for her to reveal what was actually said. He knows.